guys, Coach Mays here. Um, I just want to share with you a quick little thing about Pinterest. Now, um, me personally, what I did when I got started with Pinterest, I created an entire new account. So I already had a great account with a lot of really good boards and a lot of stuff pinned, but I wanted to start fresh with a, cre a clean slate, um, just completely blank, so I could make it all for business. Um, and that way it's just nice and clean. I don't have to worry about a bunch of other stuff. I don't have to worry about people following me and maybe sharing things that aren't necessarily mine because if they are sharing things or I'm sharing things that aren't mine, I'm going to be sending people away from me. I'm going to be sending people to other coaches and I'm going to lose those people. I'm going to lose them as challengers and I'm going to lose them as coaches. And those are people that I want to help too. So if you want to grow your business, you want to um, do it yourself and use your own things and not share other people's stuff. So you don't want to be using other coaches' posts. Um, so that being said, I'm going to do a little screen share. Um, and I'm going to tell you, let me see, maybe. Um, okay, so I already told you that I might have to wait for this because sometimes it takes a while. Okay, so hopefully that works and you can see my screen share. So, like I was saying, I went ahead and I created a brand new account. I started fresh using my um, my email that I created just for Beachbody. So, I had no pins, so I went ahead and as you can see, it is pretty blank. Um, so, I have one pin and that, or one, I'm sorry, one board and I titled that Healthy Recipes. So I just got started with this, and I wanted to show that to you guys so I can show you how easy it is. Now, when I also went on to Pinterest, it when I logged in from my computer with the new account, it asked me if I wanted to add the, if you see up here in the right-hand corner, the little pin it button um, to my tool bar. Sorry if I'm not the greatest with the uh, computer lingo. I'm not the greatest with computers. I am learning. It's a process. So um, anyway, so I did add that, and I have a feeling that that is why this ended up being so easy for me. So the greatest place that you're going to want to pin things from is going to be your blog. So if you already have that started, then you are ahead of the game. So, um, right here, so I have my Commit to Fit Kayla Mays Fitness Coach blog, and that is a free blog account at blogger.com or blogspot.com. Um, so, if you can see, it says Kayla Mays at blogspot.com. I also did go to um, godaddy.com, and it was very, very cheap to purchase my domain domain name of kaylamaze.com. So if you type in kaylamaze.com, it's going to send you straight to my blog. Um, so that way I don't have to worry about that blogspot.com part. Okay, so um, just to let you know, for an example, okay, so I'm going to go to my recipe tab, and I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to pick... The amazing crock pot chili and then I'm gonna go to the picture and when you hover over the picture you're gonna see on the left hand side that little pin it comes up so I'm gonna click that and it's gonna let me I can edit the title if I want but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is um, commit to fit Kayla Mays fitness coach amazing crock pot chili and then I can pin it to any of my boards and like I said I only have one right now I'm gonna go ahead and just do all of my recipes and I pin it, and that's it. Voila, done. So I go back to my healthy recipes, and if I refresh, I should be able to see all my recipes. That was that easy. How awesome is that? And now they're out there for people to share and pin. Boom. So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Super easy. If you don't have a Pinterest account, create one. If you need a clean one, make a new one. Use your email account that you're using for Beachbody um, and get started from there. And if you haven't created a blog yet, you better do it. <laughs> All right, um, create a blog, make some posts about challenge groups, some recipes, 
try to do um, try to do once a week if you can. That would be perfect to start out, um, and that'll get you started. All right, thanks. See you guys later.